Hey guys, welcome back to All in a Law. This is a quick OBGYN. Okay, so today we're going to talk about criteria for the diagnosis of severe severe preeclampsia. Okay guys, so what is the criteria for the diagnosis of severe preeclampsia? Guys, remember preeclampsia is a really very important topic for uh, what you call for uh, obstetrics, okay, for obstetric board examination or for USMLE examination and clinically it's really very important how to manage and how do you diagnose this disease. So let's start a discussion on this. What is the criteria if you want to diagnose this as a severe preeclampsia? Remember the first is the blood pressure we talk about, the blood pressure. The blood pressure as we know we have a systolic and a diastolic, okay, systolic and a diastolic. Remember what you call, if the systolic blood pressure is more than 160 millimeter of mercury, okay, uh, or what you call uh, diastolic more than 110 millimeter of mercury okay or higher on two occasions at least six hours six hours apart while well, the patient should be what you call will be should be on a bed rest six hours apart and a complete bed rest it should be on a bed rest okay Right guys, so this is what the blood pressure, systolic and diastolic, systolic it should be more than 160 millimeter of mercury or diastolic more than 110 millimeter of mercury uh, or higher on two occasions at least six hours apart while the patient is on bed rest, remember, okay. Now we have another one thing that is a proteinuria, passing of proteins through urine, proteinuria. Proteinuria of what you call two times one is more than what you call uh, 5 gram per day or for 24 hours urine collection okay or 3 plus grade 3 plus grade or higher than this uh, on two what you call random urine samples collected at least 4 hours apart 4 hours apart Guys, this is a really very important what you call a criteria. Remember proteinuria of 5 gram or higher in a 24 hour urine sample. Okay, uh, our specimen are 3 plus or greater than 3 plus on a 2 random urine samples collected at least 4 hours apart. Right? Along with that, we have other criteria required to diagnose the severe preeclampsia. Oliguria less than 500 ml per 24 hours so normally is around 1 to 1 1.5 to 2 liters right so here is a less than 500 ml per 24 hours okay then the patient have cerebral or visual disturbances okay the patient, if severe, it can lead to what you call pulmonary edema. Okay, cyanosis, cyanosis, epigastric pain, okay, impaired liver function. Impaired liver function, thrombocytopenia, and fetal growth restriction. Growth restriction. Okay, guys. 
So these are the important what is the criteria for the diagnosis of severe preeclampsia. Remember the blood pressure, that's a really very important. Protein urea is very important, okay. And the other things like oliguria, cerebral visual disturbances, pulmonary edema, cyanosis, epigastric or right upper quadrant pain, liver function test impaired, thrombocytopenia, and fetal growth restriction. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.